imperial and a system of tombs. There is no strain to visitors who are interested in history as well as architecture of Vietnam under the reign of the Nguyen dynasty. When coming to Hue, besides the magnificent construction of tombs of Tu Duc, Khai Dinh, or Minh Mang, tourists should not miss a visit to the tomb of Yao Long, the resting place of the first king of the last feudal dynasty in Vietnamese history. I'm Lin Phang, a young citizen of Hue City. Today, I am so proud of being a local guide to bring you some panoramic view on this grandeur structure. When it comes to the history of Vietnam, the Nguyen dynasty is an unforgettable period under the reign of Nguyen An Emperor, Yalong Emperor, 1762-1819. The tomb of Yalong Emperor lies on the top of Thiang Tho Mountain, on the west bank of Phrim River, 16 kilometers away from the heart of Hue City. In fact, Yalom tomb is a complex including numerous tombs of Emperor Yalom, his mother, his wives, and other royal family members as well. Nowadays, it is at Hương Tho Khmin, Hương Cha District, Thừa Thiên Huế Province. Yalom tomb is recognized as one of UNESCO World Heritage. Dedicating his youth to battlefields for nearly 25 years, 1775 to 1801, Yalong Emperor finally unified the country and took the throne in 1802. So, his royal tomb is the winner to a military commander's strong will of finger. The construction of the mausoleum lasted in six years, from 1814 to 1820. Originally, the tomb was structured for Emperor Yalong's first wife, Thuong Thiang Empress. But lately, it became Yalong's and some of his family members' burial site. Sadly, the royal tomb suffered serious damage from the war. Although some of the architectural components remain, they give us concept of values of the tomb. Recently, the mausoleum has been under renovation to rehabilitate major components of the complex. The worshipping area of Yalong tomb lies on a large flat hill. It gets the Dai Thiên Thong Mao to be a beautiful nature screen in front. Behind the tomb, there are seven mountains to be the post occipital. Moreover, on the left and right, each side has 14 mountains. Looks like a green dragon and white tiger guarding the royal tomb. Yalong tomb is divided into three areas. Entering into the burial area is the royal courtyard with some imposing stone sculptures of horses, elephants, civil, and military servants. Keep walking up to seven urnal burial sites on the peak of the mount. In the center of the burial area is the double graves of Yalong Emperor and Thong Thien Empress next to each other, a symbol of happiness and loyalty. On the left of the burial area is the Minh Thanh Temple. As you know, it is the place where they set up altars to worship Yalong Emperor and his First Lady. In addition, in this solemn temple, there are many memorable sticking to the life of the King Yalong, such as bells, hats, saddles. Despite the remote location compared with other royal tombs in Hue City, the tomb is the most breathtaking with endless mountain ranges, pine forests and parks among green grass and wonderful white flowers. Not as crowded as other royal tombs in Hue, the tomb of Yalong is the perfect combination of nature and architecture. Coming to Yalong tomb, tourists can contemplate a picturesque scenery of a royal tomb outside the Hustle world. The pristine but timing beauty along with the solemn atmosphere of Yalong tomb would leave a long-lasting impression on all visitors to this construction. If you are a nature-loving person, this historical structure is quite a must-to-see place to you. Thank you for watching my short video about Yalong Mausoleum. Goodbye and see you in the next.